All right, so welcome to this guide video for how to unlock the area, the scraplands in the ascent. And as far as I can tell, this is the one area you have to unlock through a side mission. So here we are in Steamtown, and this is plug and play the special place. Uh, yeah, so inside here you have this gentleman and if you talk to him hey, it's not like it's what i wanted but i guess i got to thank you for making the trip who knows these crazy ass new parts and add-ons might even end up making us a lot more money in the long run so he is the one that will give you a side mission called plug and play and you need this as a start point in order to eventually end up in uh, scraplands so this guy in the sofa in plug and play club in steam town that's what you need and on the map you can see kind of where i'm at right now and here i am on the map in tier high street and you can see the node and i'm showing you this for you to get like a rough idea about where i am so fairly close to the center of the node and if you want the landmark then look for off-world logistics i think it says and then you have a little alleyway in here and when you come through you have gigori's hardware and at one point you will get the opportunity to uh, do the side mission called plug and play and in order to go through with it you need to go to Grigoris hardware and talk to Grigoris and he is quite deep inside behind the counter here that's Grigoris I've already done this mission at this point but this is the guy you need to talk to and he will tell you that he doesn't have what you need but he can open up an elevator down to the scrapland so the elevator is only, as far as I can tell, first time available through that mission. And it's back here. And here it is. So once you've unlocked it, you can always go down again, like any other area. So from the node and Grigoris' workshop, you can take the elevator down. And as you can see, it has now changed to Scrapland. And Scrapland is... A pretty cool area and um, it's big Let's show you on the map it's a big area and it has a lot of loot a lot of components and in the furthest away area not where the green thing is but more where the blue light is there's usually a high tier enemy and it responds every time you go into the scrap plants and you can farm this for uh, loot and it usually drops at least one component and not seldom a higher tier component as well so if you want to grind for components this is the place to do so however this is an area filled with enemies so be aware of that you need to be prepared when going down here because they will come at you and uh, yeah you might die if you are biting off more than you can shoot so so it's basically a big open area with a lot of scrap why maybe that's why it's called the scraplands so it's a pretty cool area all in it itself and as you can see there's there's quite a few uh, enemies and they have somewhat high levels and not seldom there's quite a few of them coming at you at once so be aware of that and when you are here it's usually just further up and to the left for a bit in order to encounter the random boss unit and we'll have a quick peek and see if it's there and there it is so this is usually the same enemy I've seen two types of uh, boss units here 
And it's quite easy to get the pattern down. Um, if you have a high level energy weapon, you can take him down fairly quickly. As you can see, I'm kiting it around this little pile of garbage. And they usually have like the, the big missiles, the small missiles, and then they shoot the sort of almost wheel, wheel bots at you. Yeah, there they go. And then they're back to the first pattern again. But just take it nice and easy and kite it around. Use a high energy weapon. And there we go. So you get a lot of ordinary loot, but here we can see I also got one basic component and one advanced component. And if I went away and came back to the scraplands in this area, in high probability, it would be back and you can do this all over again. So it's a tough enemy, but it's somewhat easy to handle if you have a good energy weapon and you can always kite it around this pile of rubble. So there you have it, how to gain access to the scrap land and also how to farm for components. How to unlock Scrapland and also how to farm components while down there. Hopefully you found your way down there and are now farming. If you like this video and channel, I would love to drop a sub and a like, and I would also love it if I saw you again in future videos. But for now, it's time to say bye-bye.